Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Sonic Frontiers. On this part I'm gonna do the freaking all stages cyberspace challenge. It's gonna be kinda crazy. But um yeah. Don't know if I'll get an S rank. I'm gonna try to do this in like an hour for like an hour and a half or something. Sounds reasonable enough to me anyway. I'm guessing the, uh, they're probably trying to, they're going to be a little more lenient with the stage time they're allowing me with. Because, like, I'm doing all the stages in the whole game. Like, they can't just not be, go easy on me a little bit, right? Bro, the lighting is, sucks in here, I'm sorry. Gotta, I gotta fix it. Okay, that, that works. That's fine. Sorry if it's a little, like, ghoulishly blue a little bit. But I gotta go and do my best here. So. Not too focused on the lighting. I just gotta do good. Easy enough. It is level one. And no, I don't think I'll focus on getting S for all of them like I did on the other ones, because I'm sorry, that's just a bit too crazy. I'm doing all the stages. Like it's a little bit much to ask me to be perfect on all of them. On a matter of like ten stages in a row, like, that's one thing I can do, but this seems a little out of my field. However, this, this is what I'm coming on. Oh, no, 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 no. Where's the light, the light, this level speed. Oh, shoot. I probably missed, like, by a couple seconds. Or milliseconds. I want to go fast, though. Um... Shit. Okay, I know I said I didn't want to get perfect on all of them, but hey, hey, hey. For the first couple stages, at least, I want to master them. Because this is, that's only level 2. If I can't get ass on level 2, I'm going to kill someone. That means Dr. Eggman is out. He's gonna go down, boys. Bro. I don't know why it doesn't let you descend sometimes. Okay, that was a little bit faster than my first time, I think. By like... Okay, actually, maybe not that much. I don't know. Bro. No! Shit! Shit! You know what? Ah! I'm gonna go crazy trying to run this now. Why? Why does he go up the pole so slowly? 
Okay, 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 okay. Level one craziness here. Right? I'm not gonna go this crazy for all the levels, I promise. But level one... Come on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I, 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 I made it out. Okay. I did, like, a boost there. I managed to save a grand total of one and a half seconds. There we go. Now, if I do level two and do it right, I... Should be okay. Okay, wait. Be right back real quick. I'm just gonna pause it. Okay, I'm back again. Wait, shit. Bro. Okay, okay. That one was completely my fault. I know that's not the fast route. I just wasn't thinking for a second. So, I'm sorry. Redo it. That's okay, I'm completely confident. Damn it, why does he slug that one part with the freaking moto bug? It wastes like a whole second. It wastes a whole two seconds. Yeah, damn it, well, whatever. I can beat one, two, then it's fine. So yeah, I put my mic off for a second, just to minimize random sounds, but I'm back now. Uh I kind of forgot the death egg was in the background, I'm gonna be honest. Okay. Hey there, CF, how you doing? Trying to run all the levels in the game at once. In the epic battle speedrun mode. Or, not battle, but... Um, I keep confusing it with bat battle rush mode, but no, it's just cyberspace challenge. Anyway, it'll be pretty hard, but let me see if I can get S rank on the whole mode. Ah, crap. Okay, I'm definitely losing this one. Maybe. But this isn't a particularly memorable or challenging level. It's kind of just... You know, it's fine. Oh, damn it. Okay. Okay, that was my fault. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Bruh. Okay, apparently I got it and I used the random jump trick. There was like a... Air boost momentum, like, glitch thing that way boosts Sonic's, like, 
air thing, and apparently I used it because if it shows you an asterisk, and then you did it. Also, that's really cool. Decide to see what you do next. And where you go. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, uh, screw you, uh, moto bugs. Uh, these levels are really fun, honestly. I don't care what some people think about them. They're like, oh, it's not these controls are worse. These levels suck. No, they're fun. I don't care. It's peak. Peak game. Yeah. Oh, I didn't need to do that at all. That was, like, unnecessary. Yeah, you definitely should, uh, when you get the chance for your, like, Xbox or something. Because it's pretty fun. And the updates are delivering pretty well so far. This one doesn't add, like, a ton of, like, substantial content to the game, but, like, the music box thing and the, you know, the boss rush modes and stuff are pretty neat challenges. Yeah. Bruh, I use the air thing again. What does it mean? I mean, I know what it means, but, like, I don't know how I'm even doing it. If, yeah, at all. I'm just boosting. Like a normal person. I'm accidentally doing some crazy tech, apparently. Game is telling me I'm doing some crazy shit. I don't really remember this level, honestly. I mean, I know about it, but like, I just don't remember like the layout. So I do remember the song, so. I'm just gonna go on this path. It might be faster, right? Or maybe not. Who knows? Oh! Oh! That was close. I was terrified. Easy game! Can I get an S? Bro, I did it again. Well, seems like my timing's at least okay so far, but I know in the later stages it's gonna be a lot harder. I might even mess up somewhere along the line. Uh, you know, you know what? No. Okay, there. That took like an extra three or four seconds, but whatever. Nope. Taking the faster route. Thank you. I'm gonna have to use a couple seconds to make up on the freaking mistake I made. It's better than taking the slower route, right? That's what counts. I don't remember if this is the correct route, though. Seems like it is. Or at least it's not a bad one. Interesting how they just plop some Modern Sonic and Classic Slubble from Generations. It's interesting to see the gameplay a difference. Like, we don't just got Modern Sonic levels. Boost levels. We also freaking just literally have Classic Sonic levels, too. With modern Sonic gameplay. That's neat. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm still fine enough. But 20 seconds is a little rough. Now I love this song. This game has a bunch of stuff. Follow me. Set me free. Trust me and we will escape from the city. I'll make it through. Follow, follow me. Oh, no, 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 oh, damn it. I was trying to go faster, but I just ended up dawdling around. Ah, shoot. I'll make it through, through me to you. Follow me. 
Oh yeah. Danger is lurking around every turn. Trust your feelings, got to live and learn. I know with some luck that I'll make it through. But no. No other options only. <laughs> no. Restart the whole damn thing. I'm sorry. If I have to go that far back with a checkpoint, it's not gonna work out. I'm gonna go crazy doing this whole mode, aren't I? Look, if I f mess up badly after the first world set of levels, then I'll... I won't restart the whole thing. I think that will be my rule. Maybe. Because I can't just keep resetting every time, right? Okay, that was fast. That was good. Can't reset every failure. As much. Oh my god, that could have been way faster. Sonic definitely goes crazy at the DMV. Judging by his. Um, the dr Sonic, dr Sonic learns to drive art from the Sonic 30th Anniversary Special IDW comic. It's really funny. Recommend it. This man is crazy in a car. You can't trust him. Going to the light, the light. Going through, going to, going through the light, the light. Going through the light, the light. Disappearing! Disappearing! Okay. Boom. Ah. Okay. I am okay. I'm fine. I'm not fine. <laughs> Bro. The 38 milliseconds. Yeah, true. Have Sonic wait at the DMV and then murder him. Oh my god, that second level bar. I could have gotten it a little faster too if I did the first part right. I got this level down to a science, so I'm pretty sure. Okay, other than that. Otherwise, I got it down. Hey, 30 and a half. Not bad. Boom. Okay, let's do the next one right. I think the fun thing about this mode is getting the right time on the each level can depend entirely on how you do on the previous level too. So like you can get an S on this on the last one and do okay, but like if you optimize your time a little bit better, it just you know you you could get that better time you want on the next one. Like it makes it it makes it kind of fun. It's like a and you keep wanting to replay it. At least I do. I don't know. I keep wanting to try to get a better time. I go a little crazy doing it, but it's fun. Um, it's one of the last ones, sadly, but it's still per- oh, five seconds saved. Pretty good. I could do better on this level, definitely, so. I don't think I even took the top route. Wait. 
go this freaking way. in these boost levels. Like, imagine if you can replay these cyberspace levels with the other characters. That'd be kind of sick. Okay, don't remember this level already. I, I, I immediately blanked it out from my memory, but it's fine. How does fun for these levels for me is just coming up with speed on the spot. Like, I can just think of something to go fast. Yo, Sonic. Yo, Sonic. Ow, oh, ow. Oh. That's pretty cool. Also, hello there. Good to see ya. Trying to do the freaking uh, super speed run mode here, and it's pretty hard, but ultimately it'll be rewarding if it works out. Okay, can I do this one faster? Probably. Let's try the top route. Who knows if it'll work or not. Oh, hey, that's kind of neat. Maybe it is faster. Oh, wow, well, what is it? Oh, okay, I almost fell off. Whoa, oh, what the hell? Okay. Okay, I don't... I didn't really play Generations a ton, so I don't know about these other routes. But I know they're in Jen's chemical plant, I'm pretty sure. I know this level's a lot like it. Except for some elements being a bit different. Oh wow, I just like completely skipped that area right there. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Oh, I almost fell off there again. Just go this way. Oh god. <laughs> I'm crying. Wait, no. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. Okay. Redo it again. Do it better. I'm sorry, Sonic. You you have to keep torturing yourself on the same levels over and over again. I know, it's a struggle, but you gotta do it, man. What is the freaking temperature right now? It's really hot. Okay. Freaking that steaming in here. Okay. Bro. Yeah, I'm really excited to play as Knuckles and Amy and Tail. I'm wondering how they're they're gonna work in the gameplay style of Sonic Frontiers, because that's really exciting. I'm imagining they'll get, like, their own combos and crap. And their own, like, skill trees you can level out. That'd be really cool. Okay, I probably did this way slower than I needed to. But, it's fine. I'll just reset the whole universe in 10 seconds. If it doesn't work out. Bro, why did he stop like that? Okay. 
think I got it. Hmm. Bro. No, it's just short of failing. Relieved, though. And plus, I can still do this level a little bit better. Okay, I almost didn't. Uh, I keep forgetting that this thing has a thing because you can't see it until you pass it. Okay. I don't even know if that freaking crystal ring thing is necessary. Okay. Um, I don't know. Honestly, maybe Amy because she will probably be like the most unique out of like gameplay stuff to implement for the new characters. Like, because I'm imagining they're gonna pull from like a ton of different things. Like, like they can't really do make her like Sonic Adventure because like, well, she isn't that good in Sonic Adventure other than her fun high jumps. So like. Knuckles, you could, like, have the punch combos and all other crap that you'd expect from him, but I'm just interested to see what they do with Amy, because, like, what would they do with Amy? Have her do some cool hammer combos, maybe some other cool tricks, who knows. Tails, he could have a lot of, like, spinning tails attacks and stuff, and maybe, like, robots or something. Yeah. I know they're gonna go crazy. They could get creative with her. How does the sound font of this song sounds like Mario 64? I swear, wait, what the hell? What is this? Is this a shortcut? Bro, did I just find the secret shortcut? By accident. I was just trying to freaking make my fall faster because... He falls way too slowly. Me too. I'm wondering how that will work as well. Okay. Chemical plant is a little crazy for me. I'm gonna be honest. It's where I fell. It's where I fell off hard after all. Do 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 Somehow I feel like the left path was the fastest one of the ones I tried in this level. Oh my god, bro. He just boosted into the wall like an idiot. The fun thing is I can just use the paths interchangeably and just pick whichever one I want at any time. So yeah, it is pretty cool. But also scary if you mess the mess jumping on the freaking paths, like, wrong. Yeah, Tails is pretty cool. I'm excited to see how he'll, like, fly around and go across the map. Okay, this level should be fine. I pressed the metal button by accident, I'm sorry. It was a complete accident. Oh my god, I'm not- I'm not gonna beat this mode. I'm sorry. I can't get past stage 7. On World 1. I'm too busy sharpening my World 1 times. To really care. About anything else. Oh hey, that was faster than hitting that stupid bumper. Bro. I just wish Sonic's boost was a little bit faster in cyberspace. That's my only complaint. I know I can unlock the super sonic speed in cyberspace if I beat this mode, but 
Otherwise, I don't know. Actually, I don't think that was faster. Bear with me, guys. Oh my- Sonic, I'm going to kill you! Okay. I'm gonna freaking kill Sonic. These freaking levels make me go crazy for fast time. Okay, I did what I wanted to do there that time. Optimally. Oof. Honestly, I think this will be harder than the Super Boss, though. Because getting those optimal sharp as nail strategies on the levels is a little bit tougher than doing the bosses. Like, once you know the boss trick, it's pretty... Usually pretty easy to get it right, but... Sometimes it's still pretty hard to do the level speed strap, you know, the fastest and the most optimal ways you can. There's a lot of more pressure to this one, especially, because there's, like, a lot more levels than there is bosses, right? Or things in the boss rush, I would think. Fair enough. My favorites are Sonic, um, Amy, Rouge, Knuckles, Shadow, basically most of the characters, uh, the main characters, really. Oh yeah, Big the Cat is one too. No. I'm gonna kill Sonic the Hedgehog, okay. I swear, I'm gonna get past the world, and then I won't freaking uh, reset again, I promise. There is no accidentally resetting next time. Oh hey, you did the boost that time. True. I don't know how they'll make it not OP. Because he was pretty broken in Sonic Adventure 1. Bro! Ah! Oh, my brain went on, like, autopilot there. Come on, Sonic! It went on autopilot and thought, I'm gonna take the top route. No, that route is objectively worse. When usually it is the opposite, and it's the best. Top route is not the answer in that level, bro. They're tr actively tricking you. They're actively trying to make you think that it's the best. It's not. Okay. Oh yeah, I like Blaze as well. She's cool. She's my favorite to play in Sonic Rush, because I like her high jumps. They're fun. No, 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 no. Mm. 
Also, I like Bunny Rabbit, but she is a comic character, so I, I don't I don't lump her in the same category. I can do this level better. And I won't fall off this time. I remember the trick. You no, know, uh, you're not gonna frickin' tear me across there like an idiot. You know, you're not gonna do that stupid bumper backward crap. Boom. Air dash. Works every time. Honestly, this level is forgettable. It's just so simple that I just, like... It's just one of those breather levels, I guess. I don't know. There's no better way to describe it. It's fine for what it is. Just another... Just a level to break up the action... The, the intensity of other levels. You know. Just chill. Honestly, I think doing that... Frickin... Thing to the bridge was faster. So I'm gonna do that next time. Or this time, I mean. That is objectively faster than taking the loop. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, Whispers, but- Oh yeah, also I like Surge a lot. She's really cool. And who else? I like Scourge as well. Because, I mean, he, he's cool. He's Evil Sonic. He's pretty... You know, arrogant. I like characters that- Bro! Wait, 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 wait. This isn't the right one. I like characters that can be complete jerks and hate everybody. They can be cool and funny. Obviously not for a conventional reason, but like... I mean, Scourge is pretty cool. In the, you know... Heartless villain with like no remorse for anyone kind of way. Bro hated his own team. No. Bro, I can't get over this. That that chemical plant level is going to kill me. I don't even know if I can do this. And the worst part is, it's really hot in here. Okay. Yeah, I hate that part. Oh yeah, Silver is cool. Huh? I forgot about him. Trying to get a little crazier, but I think that's just making me do worse. Mm -hmm. 
Bam. <laughs> this game actively hates me. Look, I'm just looking to do the first world perfect, so every other world, I at least have an excuse at failing. That is the plan here. I'm gonna go all out in first world, do my best on the other ones, and then maybe it'll be fine, I don't know. Sorry, I was just checking something. one part with the spikes and the motorbug. Now I'm, like, skipping the motorbug, but I'm hitting the spikes, so... Like, that's not good. For an ideal right here. Gotta be ideal here. Back to the lap, and now... Ah, the motorbug! Why does it have to be right next to where you're hopping off? I don't want a homing attack it. I don't want to waste time there. Maybe I just need a couple more cooks in the kitchen to beat this level. The right way. Yeah. Why do those spikes have to be right there? Okay, 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 I got this. There. Just have to do a good hop. And let's see how much time this saves. Not really that much, honestly, but hey. I did it the way I wanted to. There. That's pretty ideal, right? Yeah, he is pretty jovial. Ugh. I need to drink my water here. I can't do that. Honestly, I want to turn off one of the lights in here. Honestly, it's still bright enough, even without that one on. Maybe, like, a little, slightly less bright, but... I'm willing to make a sacrifice. It's hot. Turn off one of them. I, I don't know. If I screw up on Chemical Plant, I'm gonna eat Sonic for breakfast. Wait, no, 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 I didn't mean to grab that thing, uh. Okay, I'm still gonna get a good time. Barely. Mm, fine. I'm willing to accept it. 
I don't care. You know what? I'm not gonna get an A on everything. I'm getting an F on everything. I know. That's fine. I'm just gonna take it like a man this time. Screw one, two, right? Not like you get anything for getting an S on, like, literally all of the stages, but... Hey, it's good to practice to get as fast as I can. Because otherwise, what's the point? I might not get an S at the end. Of all of these stages. I haven't even been... A quarter of the game stages yet. Wait, what the... What the hell? Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I was just... Oh. Forgot that was there. Uh, I panicked. Nope, well, still good time. I'm just sad at my output. But I'm still doing pretty good, honestly. Even though I'm... I, my main problem is just I'm reset happy. Because I'm a perfectionist and I want to go insanely hard. On uh, what I'm doing here. Even if I'm not the best Sonic player in the world at all, by any means, I still want to perfect it. To the best of my craft. I will beat this. Hmm. But, you know, I'm not gonna die on the level. That's, that's too far. We're gonna have to make compromises sooner or later. I know. I'm aware of that. Hey, that was pretty cool, actually. And I got a better time now! Yes! Bro, trust me, I never cared about S rank in any other game. This game, though, I don't know. It's fun to get S rank. Because the levels are just short enough where you just want to keep trying again and again. Damn it. Bro, why did I do that? I keep monkey brain mode on that level without thinking. Also, SA1 I got S ranks on, but that's because, honestly, most of the levels are not really hard at all to get S rank on for the trial mode, if you're doing trial mode stuff. I can think of, like, maybe one level being kind of hard, and it was, like, um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of which one it was. It might have been Lost World. That one was kind of tight. S rank on, no. No, I don't... Listen. I'm... I was thinking about maybe doing an SA2 rank stuff and albums, like a different SI1. Then I thought, oh yeah, the treasure hunting stages exist. And I, I was like, no, I don't want to go fast on those. Like, bro, the, the, the emblem locations are random and they could be anywhere... Bro, I'm gonna frickin' beat someone up. Listen, bro. Hear me out. That was an idea I had at one point in my head. And then I was like, no, screw it. Screw SA2 ranks. I'm just gonna use hack mode and get an OP Chow again. Uber Chow. We gotta get a Super Saiyan Chow here on the screen. Oh, that will be it yeah, as part of the sequel whenever I do it. Just don't know when I'll play it. Might be the summer, honestly. SA2 seems like an okay summer game. Just don't really know anytime soon when I'd be playing <laughs> it. Oh, hey, welcome back to. 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 I don't know. I think that's how. I was right the first time, but I don't know. Hope you're having a good, swell day. Okay. 
do to the light. I almost died, but I survived. Going through the light, the light disappearing. Also, the 2D levels are kind of boring, but that's fine. Like, they're not bad, but eh, they're not as exciting as these 3D levels. I'm sorry. They're no Sonic Rush. Wowie. True. Okay, maybe not 1-1. One, one. That one's easy, but 1-2, one, yeah, that's definitely one of the hardest. Although some of them could kind of trick me up because I just kept trying to find the weirdest shortcuts. Even though I probably might have been able to S-rank if I wasn't doing crazy shortcuts. Maybe. I don't know. I'm a show-off. I just want to do it in the cool way I think is possible. That's why I keep making these stupid mistakes I do. Like if I see an opportunity to do something kind of cool, I'm going to try it. But probably fail. Most of the time. Okay. Boom. That was pretty good. Okay, actually, I do remember having a hard time on 1 1 on my first playthrough of this game, but I think that's mostly. It just came down to me being a pretty unfamiliar. With Boost Sonic, I didn't really play a lot of these games, like Sonic Unleashed, or I barely, I didn't, I haven't played Unleashed since I was like, you know, on the Wii since like 2009. Haven't played, really I played like very little colors, I, maybe I got, I got to like the Candy World and then stopped. Played like a good chunk about, I beat Generations like recently, but like I didn't, Replay the levels ton. And I didn't play forces, so I basically I'm I was really rusty with the way the control worked. And I was kinda used I was a little bit rusty because I was used to how Adventure Sonic controlled. So there's a little bit of factors going into me kinda sucking at level one. Other than it's kind of hard for the first time you try it. I think this is the fastest route, honestly. You just gotta wing it. Yeah, you basically skip all of that crowd. That's pretty cool, not gonna lie. If I could get past Chemical Plant, I'll at least feel a little better. No! Listen. Listen. Yeah, it does. And honestly, I'm gonna end up pausing the game if I can't beat the stream on whatever time. I'm just gonna leave it paused for X amount on, like, World 2 if I only beat World 1. And then do the rest later. I mean, that's not cheating. Listen. I just like saying that. It's funny. I'm listening. Hear me out. Oh. I'm just hoping I'm entertaining, because I'm imagining me resetting a level probably isn't fun to the average viewer, but like... 
just how I, I played the game. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a little bit on the hinge with Sonic here right now. I'm a little bit cuckoo, man. Okay. If I die one more time on that chemical plant, I'm gonna scream. Okay. Actually, not really scream, but you know. No, 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 don't mess up the terrain. Sonic, stop doing this, you break my heart. I'm gonna cry. Going through, going to chew, going to the light. Okay, I wasted like four seconds, I'm gonna lose. You know what though, that's fine. A rank, whatever. I can't die, though. I can't die, though, I say as I just freaking murder. Bro. I know, right, Scorp? Okay, listen. <laughs> hey there, bro. How you doing, man? I'm just going crazy trying to reset the same Sonic level 20 times. Because I'm trying to get the perfect time here. Listen, it's pretty nuts, but I'm getting somewhere, I think. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, wow, I just boosted through him. That was pretty cool. Flowing to the light. I don't know. I just, I keep thinking it's going to the light or something. Flowing to, flowing to, flowing to, the light, the light. Okay, you know what, that makes more sense. I wonder who sung the song, that's my question. It's iconic for any Sonic Frontier player trying to get S3. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was epic speed. I don't know how I pulled that one off, but... I'm trying to stay consistent, hopefully. And not die. Please don't die. That's the worst thing I can do. If I mess up in a level and kind of slow Sonic down a bit, whatever. But if I die, that's horrible. Don't do it, Sonic. Don't die. Yeah, yeah. Uh, playing on PS5. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. It's also available on Switch, which isn't really a great version, and Xbox Series X, and also PS4, and uh, Xbox One. So last gen and this gen. And also PC, if you don't. Mods and all that cool stuff. <laughs> okay, actually, that wasn't that bad. That, uh, if I die there, that wasted like five seconds, okay? That was the beginning of the level I died. That didn't count. That that didn't count. I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this outcome. Unless I get a super fail rank. Maybe. If I get like a D, then no, never mind. I'm gonna reset. If it's a B, then maybe. If a C, then no, I might reset. Oh, I hate you, Sonic. Why won't you perish? Okay, you know what? That's like 10 seconds. Off from how fast I'd normally beat this level, but I'm okay with it. Yeah. Yeah, CF, you got this, man. Can't wait to see where you go. Sucks. 
exciting time. Okay. Also, happy to see you, Scoop. I like to join another one of your streams when I get the chance. Group from Treasure Planet. Scorp, you gotta play Pre Treasure Planet Battle of Pyrocon because I, we need to make the Scroop joke, okay? We need to make a Scroop joke on screen. On screen. It's a strategy game. You can buy it on Steam. <laughs> Scroop. Oof, okay, that's. That time kind of sucks, but like, whatever. I'm fine with it, honestly. Chemical plant, my natural enemy. Wait, what the hell did I do? Did I just take another route by accident? I don't understand what happened. Whoa. Hey, I just skipped that thing. Wait, wait, wait. This rail is faster than the other thing. What am I doing? Wow, I didn't even know this existed. Wowie. I might have saved time. Yo, that's sick. Oh, wow. Well, I'm not gonna have time, probably, because, uh... My nephew's gonna be here soon, we're gonna just hang out or whatever, but... I hope you have a lot of fun with it. The Dark Fossil is pretty epic. Aw, oh, damn it. I have to take the slow route. Crying over in death. Yeah, okay. Honestly, that wasn't that much slower. Damn it. I took that route instead of the other one. I'm gonna try... Sporefob, you gotta play Spider-Man 2, the video game. The best game ever. No, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, that way you could say, it's pizza time! And I don't know why I'm talking about Spider-Man 2. Pizza time! Oh my god, Sonic is dead! Holy crap! Wait, how long is this level? I don't think I can go up this far. Okay, I'm crying. Oh, this is... I haven't gotten here in a long time. Because of my constant failure in the other parts of the level. Okay. Follow me. Set me free. Oh yeah, I had a epic blunder here. It was really bad. And then I was really sad about it. Yeah, that should be the Italian national anthem. And now you got, like, Tepkino Pizza Tower for the true representation we deserve. Tepkino is pretty base, not gonna lie. I gotta get Pizza Tower sometime. It's a fun game. Looking game. Oh wow, that's like a whole minute before the time they actually want me to get, so... Okay, now I'm finally on 2-1. 
progress city, boys. I, I accepted a loss. I accepted a slight loss in one of the levels, and look where I am. I'm finally on World Two. I'm going. No, excuse. Me. Oh God, what the hell? I'm sorry. That just came out. I'm going places, boys. Hitting the big street with Sonic here. Yeah. By the way, there's four worlds and there's like seven levels in each world, except for the last one, which has nine instead of seven. So, just to give you all an idea how long this might be. We're gonna be here for a while, but I'm not, I promised I wouldn't reset. So, oh yeah, um, wait, oh yeah, I, uh, I did the Pirates of, I almost beat King Hearts 2, I took a slight break from it because, uh, the DLC for this game came out and I wanted to, like, perfect all of it. And I did both the visits of the Pirates World on the first one, it's basically like a kind of like a retelling of the movie, but with some, you know, them cutting a lot out, and also they don't mention the part with suicide. And also the pirates use crossbows instead of guns. Sadly. But that's only in the American version. In the Japanese version they use guns. They censored it, bro. Why are these pirates using crossbows? That's lame. That's not a threatening. Okay. They need to have guns. Yeah. Also, one of the main uh, Kingdom Hearts organization members had like a sniper gun thing that didn't look like a real gun. That was changed into like this double crossbow combining gun thing, but it was made back into its original state for the re-release in HD. On the second visit, Jack basically gets turned back into a skeleton cursed pirate thing because of this heartless that shows up that uh, Sora and the gang have to go after her. and also um, there's this like evil organization dude who just like basically just messing stuff up and they just beat the heartless and then Jack's back to normal so basically the summary there I like some of the Kingdom Hearts, uh, you know, the Disney stories. They can be pretty cool. Sometimes. Wait, whoa, 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 wait. I should go up there. The the Lion King stuff was kind of lame, though. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. One was a retelling of the movie. The other was just some unnecessary story about King Simba being scared of being the king. Even though the, the movie kind of touched on that stuff already, like... Oh, come on, man. Do you really, you want, do we really need that? I don't know. It's kind of cool, I guess. But, like, yeah, it's kind of lame. Other than the boss at the end. The, the, the Earthshaker guy was pretty cool. I'll give you that. But, like, everything else just kind of felt like filler. I can't wait to try Kingdom Hearts 3, because I'm excited to see how they... Do the Toy Story stuff and the uh, Monsters Inc. Oh God damn it! Oh, whatever, whatever is fine. I didn't take the fast route. Big deal. I'm still in the middle of freaking Dream Drop Distance on my own personal playthroughs. So I'm almost got all the Kingdom Hearts games played of the ones that are in the collections. But I just. I don't really like Dream Drop as much as the other games. Like, it's fine. I think some parts of it are pretty cool, actually, but, like, I don't know. I just... The main thing detracting against it for me is it feels, like, kind of way too easy. And I thought Kingdom Hearts 2 was, like, really easy enough already. And everyone says that game is a good challenge or whatever. Yeah, maybe if you're going on Critical Mode Level 1, I'm playing freaking Critical Mode in that game. And I don't feel any sense of challenge at all compared to my Kingdom Hearts 1 playthrough. I'm sorry. 
I know everyone likes Kingdom Hearts 2, and that's like the best one, but... I, 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 sorry, it's my third favorite. Even though I like, I love the game a lot, it's fun, even though it's kind of easy, but it just doesn't give me a challenge. When the first game did. And I kind of crave a challenge that isn't like, oh, play level one. Okay, do I have to freaking be level one just to feel any difficulty in this freaking game, bruh? Find a mod for Kingdom Hearts 3 for Soul and Wazowski. True. True enough. Honestly, that might be a mod. There's a lot of funny meme mods for Kingdom Hearts 3. Like, um... Uh, the one guy modded his ex-girlfriend onto Sora's health um, icon thing, and it shows a painful expression every time. Or, or it shows a smiling expression every time, even when Sora's hit, to show the uncaringness of the ex-girlfriend or something. It was like a meme, but not a meme. The guy was trying to pass it off as a funny. It wasn't an actual picture of the ex-girlfriend, but, like, <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of, kind of nuts. Okay, I don't really remember. Oh yeah, I remember this one being annoying because rails are suck. X on the health bar and she's always smiling even when Sora's hurt. Because that's how a real life is or something. <laughs> it was something like that. I'll have to show you the meme later. Bruh. Honestly, I'm doing pretty okay, other than the one A rank I got on the one level, because I died. Also, yes, this is the one level from SA2 with the rails that Shadow was in. I don't know why this is here, though, because this is Shadow's level. Why does Sonic remember it? His memory's kind of funky, guys. You know, I'm just, I'm just semantics. I don't really care that it's Shadow's level, really. I know that other people might be, like, pissed off, like, Oh, Shadow of are here, oh, I'm gonna kill you, no. Maybe some people are pissed off anyway, I don't know. Try to imagine a guy. Pee pee. Check. That's okay, CF, we know you're, you're... Your little cousin hacked your your phone. JK Capo. <laughs> Boom. I'm doing pretty okay, bro. I'm on two seven almost, bro. When I'm just like talking and just having fun, I think that makes it easier. Crap. What else do I talk about then? I don't. I don't, I don't know. Um, oh yeah, I was thinking of playing more Mario games soon on the channel, so that's fun, but I don't know when. Maybe, like, when the Mario movie gets, like, a home media release or something, I'll just use that as an excuse to play more games. Also, not trying to spoil or anything, but let's just say that when the Mario Movie 2 gets announced, I will play a certain sub-series of games related to the Mario series. So stay tuned. CF would pog at it, that's for sure. Bro, I got I wanna play Link the Faces of Evil. There's actually a re a remake of it that somebody made. That makes the controls actually uh, decent, so it's not a great game, but uh, at least uh, the controls don't suck. Everyone's gotta play the, the Link Faces of Evil widescreen HD remaster, bro. Scorp, you gotta play the Faces of Evil remaster, uh, there's a download somewhere. 
Oh shit, okay. I, I, wait. Let's... Damn it. Okay, I wasn't set that back for. Yeah, Yoshi's Island, baby! And maybe the other games in the series, if I feel like it. I don't know, Yoshi's Island might be a long game for me to beat, so... I'm not really sure, but... I mean, I could play Yoshi's Island, Yoshi's Story, Yoshi's Island Z. Yeah, I could just play all of them if I felt like it. Other than Yoshi's New Island, because... Actually, no, that would mean I have to play Wii U games. I don't... I, I don't mess with that. I mean... I just wouldn't know anything about 3DS or Wii U emulation, because I never did that, and it might be a little more complicated than Dolphin, but I don't know. But, I, if there's a good reason for me to do it later on in the channel's life, I will. But for right now, um, I lost it. It got lost in the shuffle of, like, moving between 10,000 houses, and it was when I was in, like, a bad position. So both my old 3DS and the Wii U were lost in the process, sadly. I would definitely be excited to play it again, though. Yeah. My game still exists, though, and the, I was able to salvage the Nintendo account off the Wii U, so... If I wanted to download my virtual console and stuff on my brother's Wii U, I can. My brother as in, uh, one I'm not living with, but another brother, because... If, I, I, if he had the Wii U, I would just be playing on that. Like, um... Oh, I used my brother's 3DS. But, yeah. Fair enough. Whoa. I feel like I'm a lot more focused somehow when I'm just randomly talking about crap. I don't know why. I feel like that helps. Um. Oh yeah, and if a certain yellow garlic-loving individual is in the Mario movie too, for whatever reason, then let's just say it's a good excuse to play his game. Hinch. Also, also, if they make a certain... Okay, I'm, I'm done with that. If they make a Donkey Kong movie, I'm gonna play Donkey Kong, not sure. That's, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna keep continuing this joke. Warrior Land would be fun, though. I have owned most Yoshi games, except for Yoshi Do Island and Topsy Turvy. I did want to get Yoshi's New Island. It's always been on my, huh, I kind of should get this game eventually, but never did, kind of, you know, kind of thing. You know, it just missed the boat for me. It's kind of like Captain Toad was for the longest time with me, too. Like, I wanted to play Captain Toad. I just, it didn't come out at a good time, and I just, at that point, that I could have gotten Captain Toad later, I didn't care as much about the Wii U, so... Then it came out on the Switch, and then I waited a couple years way later to play it on the Switch, and then I did play it when 3D World was coming out, so... I did have an excuse to play it. That time. I finally played the game. It was fun! Though I didn't really like the 100% requirements. Uh, the freaking challenge things on that game could be pretty annoying sometimes, I'm sorry to say. Like, getting those check marks, yeah, I don't have to do it on the level, but like... Getting the optional level objectives, I wanted to do it. Even though it was uh, really annoying, I just wanted to do it, because the game was cool enough, and, you know, why not? Damn. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm on 3-3, three, three. that's pretty good. Making good strides here. Also, I had a lot of fun at that arcade I went to the Smash Tournament on, even though I completely and utterly failed, sadly. But, I mean, hey, I still took it well, and I still got to play a bunch of old console games. 
at the arcade. Oh, shoot. Where do I go? Oh. Like, uh... Because it's an arcade, but it also has, like, a bunch of consoles that you just basically... You can just... They have games there. They You ask them to get them out, and you just play them. And uh, I had... I had played Mario Super Slugger, some WarioWare, Smooth Moves. Because that was the best WarioWare. Um... What else did I play? Oh, yeah, we played some Mario Party 4. So, peak gaming, basically. Yeah, Mario Super Slug is the comeback of the century. Bro. The Let's Play is, the, is Lost Media, I'm sorry to say. Or was it actually... Did I actually delete it? I don't know. I don't think I got to delete it. Just because you guys... Just because it didn't show my face, and just because it was funny to you guys, I kept it up, I think. Everything else I had eradicated off the race of the earth, so. So, yes, those are lost media, and I'm not ashamed that they are. But, the other funny parts, the other funny stuff can stay. Also, um, I want a new Sluggers game, even though I'm scared they could just frickin' mess it up. Bro, why did he go backwards? Okay. just the one on the GameCube, and then the one on the Wii. Unless you count Mario Sports Superstars for the Nintendo 3DS, the crappiest Mar- Literally the worst Mario game ever, in my opinion. Um, then yeah, that's baseball. They got Namco for it. It sucks, and it's nothing like Mario Baseball on the GameCube and Wii, but it's baseball. So if you want really watered down, boring baseball, there you go. Mario Sport, yeah, it's like basically, what if they took all the freaking Mario Sports games, watered them down for a compilation with less content than even Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, and made it a game? Like they have baseball. Tennis, soccer, but it's not by next level game, so it sucks. Golf, and horse racing, okay? Horse racing was kind of mid, and you could just take care of pet horses. And it was the least horrible one, but otherwise, everything else sucked. Sad to say. Note, I didn't actually play the game, I just know all this because of a Scott the Boss video, and you know what? I believe him. Because, I mean, the game looks pretty trashy. It's one of those, you know, we're just making random freaking shovelware games to keep the 3DS alive games. It came out when the Switch first released, bruh. Oh, damn it. You know what? It's fine. It's fine that I died. You know why? I got y'all. And it was at the beginning of the level thing for me. I remember hating this level when I was speedrunning the World 3 though. On one of the previous DLC streams. Oh my god! Oh, god damn it, okay. I'm gonna get a B on this. These steps are going to add up. Listen, these platforms suck. Now, 
They're easy, but I'm trying to speedrun here, and I thought the platform would be out. It's, like, random. I'm proud of you. Scoop. I wonder what the max time is. If I barely fail it, I'm gonna cry. But I can always try again next time. Because I'm willing to keep trying. Oh, this freaking part? I hate this. Whoa, 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 whoa. They almost tried to kill me for misinputting the wrong button. Or for inputting the wrong button, bruh. They just tried to kill me. What the heck? Okay, this, this part is a waste of time. Other than Sonic the Hedgehog, I can't really think of anything. I mean, maybe I'd speed on a Mario game. I'm pretty okay at Mario. I'm not, like, the best. But, like, I know the level's enough. So I, I guess I could probably do a Mario game, maybe. If I had to speedrun something. Really, my best speedrun experience isn't, like, actually speedrunning a whole game, like, or anything, but, like, more so, just beating the time on, like, challenge levels, and, like, bits. That's basically my speedrun experience. Like, if something gives me a time challenge in a game, I want to try it, unless it freaking crash. Freaking, uh, screw the timer, like, bro. Like, suck. But I did try to do them, at least try to get gold a lot in, uh, and say, wow, I got an A? That isn't that bad, honestly. I mean, I could have done worse. I tried to get a lot of A, um, the gold ranks in the Crash Insane trilogy. At least. I forgot I was doing that, honestly. I, I was just doing it at one point when I was bored. And never did it again. Nice. Did you do it in Crash 4, though? Did you get the Ultra Super Duper Relics in Crash 4? Which are impossible to get, by the way. I dare you to 100% crash for it. I dare you. It will make you insane. No, I'm just kidding. I, I wouldn't wish that upon any individual, honestly. Crash 4 is a fun game, but like... Bro, why did they make 100% so annoying? In the older games, it was at least tolerable somewhat. Kind of. I mean... Getting the box gems wasn't that horrible. I just hid, like, a bunch of them in the stupidest places ever, and made well, each level have, like, 200 billion boxes. So, like, it's just not fun anymore. 100% the levels, I'm sorry. In the other games, it felt pretty fun to do, but... I, I Crash 4 it kind of sucks to get the box gem. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know, right? There's like 200 million boxes in each level, and I'm like, bruh. If I miss one box, what what happens? Do I have to get collect all 200 billion boxes again? Oh. Oh, oh, I'm at the end, I'm at the end. Uh, come on, get up there, you little, you little rat. Sonic, I hate you. Okay, I hate this. I'm gonna cry. There. Bruh, Spyro Edge of the Dragon's Light. You can meet it in two minutes. Oh, wait, what? Damn. I don't know if I can beat it, guys. I don't know if I can beat the ultimate time with S. I got A. On two levels consecutively in a row. I think this is the plunge, the downfall. The part where I just cry and fail miserably at the end. Although I do have a good amount of experience on this level. I remember the horror flashbacks. 
So I can do it. This one. Adequately enough, anyway. Bro, I don't even know how you can beat that game in that amount of time. I mean, I don't know. I didn't really play into a Dragonfly. I think that was the one of the GameCube, but I don't remember. The first one. I played it, I just don't remember anything about it. It was okay. It was like one of the only spiral games I played, but it wasn't horrible to kid me. Yeah, the buggy one. And my brother thinks... My one brother thinks Spyro was mid because that was the only game I, I, he played. And I'm like, bro, I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? I was close to the S time. Barely. Maybe I'll have time to do it up, like, perfectly. If I do one of these... Oh, oh, this is the level where I have to get into the, the things on the side to get a really good time. Okay, I can do that. Okay, I don't care. Yeah, go into that one, and then go into this one. And then boom. Oh, I thought I was gonna fall, honestly. Boom! Yeah. He, he just never tried the other one. I played a bit of two because uh, a friend lent it once and I thought it was pretty fun to just... Kid with me was too, you know, kind of dumb to really get too far in most games, so... I just had fun for what I played for most of these video games. Like a freaking Mario Luigi Super- Bro! I was that close to S. In Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, I remember I got the freaking Hermie and being stuck on him for some reason. I don't, I don't remember why he was hard, but he was hard for me. Maybe I was just under level or something. The freaking tree. The Christmas tree crab guy. That, that guy. And then, and then I remember when I replayed it on the Wii U Virtual Console, I was like, wait, why did I have trouble with this guy? I don't know. Oh yeah, Trunkle was pretty hard for Kid Me too. But I managed to defeat him eventually. It was Trunkle and the, uh, Hermie that were pretty hard. Also Capulita. The first time. And um, Queen, Queen Bean too. They were pretty hard as well, as a kid. As an adult, most of, as a teenager, most of the bosses weren't too hard. Though, a final boss did, oh wait, crap. Did still give me a challenge. Oh wait, what the hell am I doing? Ah, I, sorry, I forget this level. I was probably under level too. Damn it. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, boys. This string of A's has me worried for my life. And if I fail, I'm just gonna end the stream there, because, I mean, I gotta save my energy for next time. But, I'll have done my best, at least. And I had a lot of fun, so, that's what counts.
I just really want to get the super speed mode unlocked for these levels. Because I want to see how much faster Sonic is. misery because I died like twice on one level and now I died on this one so my hope my chances are slim to be fair why did they place those spikes there that, that was kind of lame sorry to say holy crap I undershot it. Or overshot it. But I, I, I live. George Bush on the GBA. What? What, 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 what are y'all? Bro! I'm so close to that S time. Reminds me of the Bill Clinton's cat game for the Super Nintendo that got cancelled, but then later became found media. Someone found the ROM of the game. Bill Clinton's cat, the game. How can you not love it? It like socks the White House cat or something? I don't I don't know. Something like that. Why would someone want to make a platformer game about the president's cat? I don't know, but it's pretty funny. This is like the breather level other than the other one that I mentioned earlier. Okay, but you gotta boost at the end, otherwise you're dead. Oh, wow, I got an S. I got an S, finally. Maybe the curse is broken, guys. Maybe I can beat it. Maybe I can win. Can I ultimate win at the end? I don't know. But I'm a little more hopeful now, because I got S here. Just gotta do good on this level. Honestly, it's, like, impossible for me to die on the 2D levels, unless I really suck. Actually, did I say impossible? I died a lot on the 1D. But, like, this one... Wait, did I just spin dash? Not spin dash, sorry. I meant roll. I don't even know how you roll. Wait. <laughs> Momentum, guys. No, I'm just I'm being stupid. Why would you roll on this stage? Wait, uh, wait. There's, there's no reason to. The momentum, guys. Wait, this is uh, absolutely pointless, isn't it? Oh wait, no it's not. I thought it would just be rings, and I'd be like, bro. Oh bro. Land the plane. What about Top Gun on the NES, bro? You guys should play that. Try to win the plane in that game too, Capo. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not going that way. I should make another crappy games marathon eventually. The Back to the Future ones were funny. Now, so I do want to revisit the Telltale thing I was doing with y'all eventually, because I don't think Scorp... I mean, sorry, I don't mean... I don't think, uh... The CF knows the story of those games. 
uh, yet. CF, have you, did you watch? Oh, bro, you have that game? Oh, no. Well, um, the only thing I have that's comparable is... Oh, wait, you mean on the NES? Not an actual copy. Okay, but look at this. Look what I have. Hold up. I am uncovering an ancient relic. Where, where, where is it? Oh no, it might have fell. Damn, you know what? I, I don't know where the other one is. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna sit down. But... Um... I couldn't find the other one. Might have fell under the shelf or something, but here's one of them. Bubsy for the Sega Genesis. The best. Yeah, I bought Bubsy for twelve dollars, baby. He's worth it. I also have um, a copy of E.T. because my brother happened to have it, so I technically have E.T. in my house as well. Um, wait, Atari? You mean... Damn it. Oh, <laughs> um... Atari, um, Bubsy? Uh, you mean like the Jaguar? No. Didn't see that one, but I did see the SNES one. I got it on Genesis. The Genesis one, because I don't know. My foot's kind of worn out for standing around, and uh, so I'm sitting down. Really? Oh no! Oh! <laughs> oh no! Bruh, you gotta, you gotta tell her that's like one of the worst games of all time. You need to save her soul. Wait, what the hell? Bruh. Poor creature. Scorpob, you should buy a Rise of Hell Retribution and stream. No, I'm just kidding. Don't play Rise of Hell Retribution. No, 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 no! I could have survived! It's the best game ever! Wait, are you kidding me? Oh, wait, actually, that wasn't that far away. It's funny though. Damn, I probably failed that too hard. The death just wasn't gonna cut it. No. Oh, I still have two more levels. Can I redeem myself? I don't know. Honestly, as long as you have, like, a base level understanding of your speed tactics for the levels and aren't, like, perfect, perfect for them, I can see myself beating it, honestly. Like, I don't have to go hard on the world one like I was trying to. Maybe. God damn it, Sonic, you suck! Bro, you, do you have big rigs? Please, do big rigs. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Stream my big regs level for Mario. You love it. <laughs> it's the best level ever. You ride in a Koopa car for two seconds, and it's a lot of fun. Wait, what the fr- what the hell? Okay. <clears throat> 
Bro, that was the whole level? I hate you. Okay. Honestly, whatever. I'm ready to get defeated. Unless the time is like 45 minutes or something, I'm not gonna win. Sonic Skateboarding as a reference to like SA2 or something, I don't know. But with a completely original level. So, it's like a mix of random crap. Although the rising platforms do give me SA2 vibes. More like Sonic Extreme. Not to be confused with Sonic Extreme. Sonic Extra. You know, Sonic Extreme. Like, actually, Sonic Extreme. That cancelled Xbox skateboarding game that got ditched in favor of Sonic Riders when Saiga stole their idea. Well, not cancelled. It was more like a pitch that never got, you know. Oh. If I was a full minute faster, I would have won. Oh, wait. Well, next time, I'm going to try again. And do it. <laughs> okay, but look, don't look at um, 4, 4, 4, 5, and 4, 6. Worst mistake of my life. Yes. Anyway, um, I'll try it again next time, but, uh, it was nice of you to watch and go along for the ride. Uh, it was really fun having you guys. Thanks for coming. I like talking to stuff about random crap. Um, I have my capture card. Uh, the built-in thingy kind of sucks with the microphone on the PlayStation controller, but I have a better way now. Yeah. See ya, see ya some other time, Scorp. Uh, anyway, thanks all for joining, and have a good one. Bye, guys. Wait, what? Oh, wait. I thought Zonian would be... Uh,